let's continue with meters. The plane and smooth surfaces from which light suffers regular reflection are called mirrors. So that it is a perfectly smooth surface. Mirrors are actually perfectly smooth surface. While we divide uh, types of mirror, divide the mirrors, then there are mainly two types of mirrors. One is plane mirrors. Hmm. One is plane mirrors, and another is spherical mirrors. And the spherical mirrors are then further divided into two types of mirrors: concave mirrors and convex mirrors. Plane mirrors we are very you are uh, used to in these mirrors generally. Makeup mirrors, which are at our home, these all are plane mirrors. About concave and convex mirrors, I the spherical mirrors are divided into two types: concave mirrors and convex mirrors. Here, I want to explain about the concave and convex surface. You all are seeing that this is a spoon. It has two types of surface. One is bulged out outward, another is curved inward. these two surfaces are convex and concave surface simply concave surface means cave like structure so mirrors are actually the part of a hollow glass sphere like if we take this like this is one sphere if it is cut from one part then we get a disc like this spoon shape if it is polished from outer surface and inner surface is reflecting then such type of mirrors are called concave mirrors but if we polish the inner surface and the outer surfaces are reflecting surface then such type of mirrors are called convex mirrors okay hmm. you can see the symbol of the plane mirror and concave mirror see this is con plane mirror we can show the plane mirror like this a play a straight line that is shed, shed, uh, shaded from one side and the part which is unshaded or unpolished then that part is reflecting surface means the ray of light falls on that surface similarly in concave and convex surface in concave in this convex surface in this concave in the, in the spherical mirrors you can see this one is concave mirror the inner surface is reflecting so the rays of light are falling on the inner surface and the outer surface is polished in convex mirror the outer surface is reflecting surface and inner surface is polished surface this is one of the difference between the concave mirror and convex mirror also that the concave mirror the outer surface is polished and inner and in convex mirror the inner surface is polished so in this way while the ray of light for rays of light fall on the convex mirror surface the rays of light are reflected in the diverging way and so the convex mirror is also called diverging mirror and in concave mirror the ray of light falls then they converge at a point so concave mirror is called converging mirror hmm. now i want to explain the characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror here you are seeing uh, seeing the laws of reflection of light and with this laws of reflection of light in this uh, the plane mirror the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal and while the ray of light rays of light falls on the plane mirror these rays of light form an image and such kind of such type of the image is virtual image so some characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror are number 1 the image is virtual and erect second is ab mere pe le le the image formed by the plane mirror the characteristics are number 1 the image is virtual and erect number 2 the 
the height of the image is equal to the height of the object. Number three, the distance of the image from the mirror is equal to the distance of the object from the mirror. And the last is very important. That is the image is laterally inverted. Here I want to explain the meaning of the lateral inversion. In the lateral inversion, if the object in the right side, it appears left in the mirror, in the plane mirror. And if it is in the left side, it appears right in the plane mirror. This is actually the meaning of the lateral inversion. And you observed in this uh, at your home that while we raise our left hand in front of makeup mirror, it appears right hand. And if we uh, raise our left, it appears right and uh, thus reverse. Here only I want to end up this unit with, note, with just saying about important terms of the mirrors. Like while we explain a mirror, we have to know about some important terms related to mirror. Here the important terms are center of curvature, principal axis, principal focus, Principal focus, focal length, radius of curvature, aperture of the mirror. These are the terms that is, these are, uh, these are the terms that we, that describe some mirror. And we will explain or I will explain these terms in my next video.